Hi there, this is David, and uh, as many of you probably know, Steam is having a golden sale week right now up until May the 6th. Lots of great JRPGs are on sale right now, and I'm going to kind of go through with you guys and see what's actually good, what's actually bad, what are some hidden gems, what should you be buying right now. And I actually have the help of my Discord channel uh, behind me to do this, because there is a plethora of games out there now on the PC. Back whenever I was a kid and you wanted to figure out what a game was like, what did you do? You read Nintendo Power! And then, you know, the magazine would say, hey, this is a good game, this is a bad game. You could figure out what was going on just by looking at Nintendo Power, and there was a very limited supply of games. But nowadays, there are so many games out there, you could look for hours and still be finding new games. So you really do need to separate the wheat from the chaff. Now, of course, there are classics on there, such as Chrono Trigger. You, you want to download the classics. There's Final Fantasy 2, the various, you know, basically all the Final Fantasy games are great. Download those. Download some other classics. Grandia. Um, I have Final Fantasy 9, Final Fantasy 7. Download these. There's one that's missing right here, and I wonder why that one's missing. Maybe because you shouldn't download it. Um, there's some new games on there, you know, the Dragon Quest series. Yeah, download these classics. Trials of Mana, fantastic. Um, the Tales series in general. All the Tales games, they are great. Download those. Um, Trails in the Sky, Trails of Cold Steel, the, the E series. Yeah, get these games. These games are the no-brainer games. Get those games. But what I really want to focus on now are those kind of smaller hidden gem games that you don't really know about. Games that you kind of look at and you're like, I don't know, is this game good? Is this game bad? I really have no idea. So that's what we're going to be looking at again with the help of my Discord channel. As I've said, there are so many games out there I needed help going through and figuring out what's good and what's bad. And if I need help doing that, I'm sure many of you guys out there do as well. So let's go ahead and go to a small screen right here. And this is the Steam website. And you can see the Golden Week sale celebrating games from Japan. That would be JRPGs. And it's going on from today up until May 6th. Uh, many of these games are highly discounted and again like i've said some are fantastic like yakuza like a dragon this is a no-brainer if you like strategy rpgs the disgaea series um those are no-brainers tales of vesperia the E series trails of cold steel get those games near autonoma but as you keep on going down through all these various games more and more esoteric titles start popping up and that's where my Discord channel comes in. So let's look at that. Oh, and if you want to join the Discord, the link to it is in the video description. We talk about JRPGs, we talk about all sorts of good stuff, and it's a really accepting, open community, and I think you guys will have a great time here. So together this morning, we compiled a list of all the games that we would actually recommend purchasing. And first up on our list is Yakuza Zero. We even have some comments here and reviews. It says, one of the best life sims of all time. It does unique things and it puts its focus on very unique games and it's an AA level for game developers here. Two whole stories intertwined into one game, both 1010 peak of the Yakuza series. Who knew? Yakuza Zero is now 75% off so it's only $4.99 right now. I will definitely add that um, to my wish list. So if you were a fan of Yakuza Like a Dragon, you would probably want to check out Yakuza Zero if that is the peak of the series. Apparently, it doesn't really have a lot of combat. It's more of a life sim. Um, so it's 
different from the other Yakuza games that you would normally see um, in the same way that Yakuza Like a Dragon was. So very interesting there. The next one on our list is Code Vein. It says it's a perfect game if you wanted to get into the Dark Souls games, but the dark and dreary atmosphere and crippling loneliness are a little too much to deal with. It's easier than most Souls games due to introducing companions and being able to switch builds on the fly, plus it is one of the best character creators in a JRPG. So yeah, if you are a fan of the Dark Souls series or anything like that, you might want to check out Code Vein. It looks beautiful to me. It does look kind of dark according to this video that I see right here. Um, oh, it looks like there's a demo that you can download to try it out if you really want to. It is 67% off, so it's still rather expensive. It's more expensive than um, Yakuza 0 at roughly $20. But, I mean, right now, whenever these things are on sale, now is the time to check it out and to see if you would actually like it. Let's look at um, the next game on our list right here. Valkyria Chronicles series. This is a tactical RPG in the same vein as Fire Emblem, but you move around the characters in a 3D landscape mainly focused on gun and tank warfare similar to real world 1800s combat. The soundtrack is stellar, same guy who did the Final Fantasy Tactics series. Yeah, um, I think that the Valkyria Pro or Chronicle series is absolutely beautiful. I remember playing it and it took place in like World War I times. And it's just gorgeous graphics. It's real-time combat, if you're a fan of that. Not exactly... Um, it's not like Final Fantasy Tactics, where you take your turns. Everything kind of happens in real time, but it's absolutely beautiful. 67% off, only $6.79 right now. So, yeah, you can definitely afford to, um, to pick this up. If you want the bundle which includes uh, Valkyria Chronicles 4 Complete Edition, as well as Valkyria, Valkyria Chronicles. That one's 72% off right now on the Steam. Then we have Persona 4 Golden. This is um, goes without saying. This is a, um, a, a, a great game if you're into the Persona series. It might very well be the best Persona game. I know a lot of people think that Persona 5 is probably the best one. I personally really liked Persona 4. It's 30% off. It's only $13.99 right now, so you might want to check this one out too. It's kind of like a mystery, um, mystery solving going on thing right now. So yeah, um, definitely check out the Golden. The only other way to get this would be on the PlayStation Vita, and that game is rather rare, unfortunately. Uh, next up, we have RPG Maker itself. It says, don't like any of these games on this list? Try making one yourself. RPG Maker has a ton of tools to make your own game as shallow as a kiddie pool or as deep as the Atlantic. It's easy to get started, but you can make a really complex RPG if you're willing to put the time and effort into it. I filled around with some of the engines myself back in the day. They can be slightly frustrating, but it's also very cool what can be built just from the editors without any programming at all. For those of you who've been following my channel, you know that I am a fan of RPG Maker. I used the very first RPG Maker on the PlayStation um, myself, and I was able to build quite a large RPG. Um, and I actually went through that on my channel, and I played it, and I streamed it, and people did seem to enjoy that. RPG Maker MV is 75% off, so it is $19.99 right now. Apparently there's a bundle pack that you can get as well. That's 85% off. It looks like you can make a really nice looking SNES type RPG here using Windows, so you have keyboard support. So it's much easier to use than the PlayStation version that I used 20 something years ago that took a year and a day to make anything, but man, I put hundreds of hours into RPG Maker myself. Um, next up, we have Crystar. It says, uh, ba -da -ba -da, ba -da -ba, well, there it is. It's a nice emotional story-driven anime action style RPG for fans of Code Vein, God Eater, or Nier. Let's go ahead and look at Crystar. That's 60% off right now. So it's $23.99. Ah, oh, 
this is oh it's oh, okay it's an action let's try to get a little bit further into this video right here so we can actually see what it's all about here oh it is an action rpg it looks beautiful too oh this is nice yeah it almost looks it, it it almost looks to me like a little bit of persona happening in here as well so very interesting very colorful very nice if you're into these kind of anime action rpgs right here very interesting um resonance of fate it's a high punk steampunk or i'm sorry a high budget steampunk strategy rpg the story happens around you instead of directly involving the characters until later on it's extremely fun gameplay mechanics though i'm pushing it for a recommendation only adding it because it's super unique and you're planning on how to perform matrix style moves in a sort of tactical combat game you get to add five barrels to a gun and modify it so let's look at resonance of fate right here oh this is 30 percent off so it's 24.49 um now that i actually look at this i believe that i purchased this back on the xbox 360 maybe maybe it was the playstation 3 i think that i purchased this and i tried playing it and there was something with the combat system and I remember not liking it at all. So this could be, um, th this one could be hit or miss, but we're getting some recommendations from the Discord channel. So I will keep it on here. If you guys want to check this out now, again, is a great time to look into some of these games since you can get them, um, because since you can get them for so cheap. Next up on our list, we have, goes goes without saying, we added Chrono Trigger. It's the same classic from the SNES with these included dungeons from the DS release. Um, so it says, controversial upon release due to its poor quality, the game is actually quite stable and playable these days. It's not a bad way to jump into the game if you don't feel like shelling out $300 for an SNES cartridge that I still happen to have from whenever I was a kid. So yeah, Chrono Trigger goes without saying um let's ju let's just look and see how much that one costs right now oh we all know chronic trigger okay it's seven dollars and 49 cents so if you have not yet played chronic trigger um make sure that you definitely check it out it is just a fantastic fantastic game one of my favorite games of all time i cannot recommend chrono trigger enough and now we have bloodstrained ritual of the night which is a metroidvania a really solid castlevania style game similar to aria of sorrow with its monster soul mechanics let's check into this one see what we got going on here looks like it's 50 percent off so it's 19.99 with some 80s <laughs> i don't know what's going on in this video right now it's very 80s right now um, let's get to the actual gameplay. Oh, okay, I get it. It's like retro, so it's very... It is! It's like Castlevania. Oh, this is cool looking. Look at that. Yeah, this looks a lot like Castlevania 3 for the S... Or for the NES, but with SNES-style graphics. Oh, very, this is like Clown of the Clock Tower with little Medusas going after you. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, so if you're a fan of Castlevania in any sense of the uh, way then definitely check out Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. That looks really neat. Then we have Arafel. Um, I have spoken about this one. I actually did a review on Arafel not that long ago. And it is a traditional JRPG. It's Here it is in my Steam library. I wonder if I get to see what's on sale. Okay, so it's 50% off at $7.49. Um... I, I actually did a review on this not that long ago. Again, traditional turn-based combat. It's really, really nice. I highly recommend RFL if you haven't played it or haven't heard of it and you like old-school SNES-styled um, JRPGs. Next up on our list is Lie Eat. 60% off on Steam. So it's, oh, it's only a dollar and 19 cents. Yeah, this one's really, like, th this is this is not expensive at all. Let's see what we got going on here with Lie Eat. You know what this reminds me of? You know, whenever you use the um, the Super Game Boy and it gave you that kind of weird-looking purple and orangey color palette? That's what this game looks like to me with the Super Game Boy. Um, but it says here that 
Um, so we have a mysterious stranger who travels the land accompanied by a young dragon graced with the power of eating lies. So that's what this is about. It's kind of a retro styled game. Um, and you look around for people who are lying or telling the truth. Looks like simple, turn-based, combat, simple, retro goodness. That's my favorite thing, is whenever you just have retro goodness. Yeah, nothing too complicated. I really like that. Record of the Lotus War. Deal it and the Wonder Labyrinth. It's a Metroidvania, five to six hours long. Not very deep, but what is there is polished. So again, more Retroid, uh, Metroidvanias. Very nice. This one's 20% off, so it's $15.99. I believe that Record of the Lotus War is an anime of some kind, but again, I really don't watch anime. I really don't know. This, to me, looks a lot like um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, um, just by looking at it, uh, giving it a cursory glance right here. Um, very beautiful looking, though. So yeah, if you're a fan of... Um, that classic game, you might want to check out this on Steam while it's on sale. Then we have Orange Blood. It's a JRPG RPG maker game. Uh, let's look at this one here. No comments on this one. Welcome to New Koza. It's the end of the 20th century on a historic timeline different from that which we know. A man-made island off the coast of Okinawa is humming with dirty exotic vibe, and it's awesome! That's what it says right there. It's 40% off, so it's $11.99. Oh, we got some turn-based combat. This almost reminds me of, like, Cosmic Star Heroine, um, or something like that. It just looks very kind of, very kind of retro-ish. Just interesting right here. Just very interesting. So if this looks like something that might interest you, um, be sure to check it out. It's 40% off right now. That's Orange Blood. Then we have Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet, a gun-based RPG based on Sword Art Online. More of a loot-grinding scenario-based game, more like Borderlands, but with anime. Okay. Interesting. I've always been told that every single Sword Art Online game is pretty much garbage, but maybe there's actually one out there that's halfway decent. Maybe. We shall see. It says that it has mostly positive reviews, and it's 80% off right now, so it's only $7.99. So you really can't go wrong by checking this one out. Some character customization there. Okay, so yeah, it's kind of like a shooter. It almost looks like Nier, um, in a way. It, it kind of looks like Nier meets Ease, almost. Kind of interesting. Oh, huh, looks like Faye from the Cold Steel series, but okay. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> Here we have Phantom Brave, a strategy RPG. This is a Nice strategy RPG. This was originally released um, back when I believe on the um, I believe on the original PlayStation. It may have been the PlayStation Two. It was. It's been a minute, and I was never really a fan of um, Nice strategy RPGs in general. Looks like there's a free demo that you can download and it's also incredibly cheap. 40% off, it is $2.99 right now. So yeah, again, you cannot go wrong. It looks like Laharl is in there. So if you're a fan of Disgaea or Nice um, strategy RPGs in general, check out Phantom Brave PC. Then we have Near Autonoma. It says it wasn't a viral hit for nothing. Fourth wall breaking, multiple endings, action RPG combat, made by Platinum Games. Um, let's see, we're still on there. Let's go on to, oh, it's 50% off. Interesting, because the, the the brand new Near game just came out the other day as well. Uh, so this one's 50% off at 19 99. Yeah, this one's futuristic, uses mech, um, ha has mechs and kind of action-based combat. It's open world, you can explore and look around, whereas you might think that it's all kind of like dull and gray and dark. It does open up and it does get much more beautiful as you look at like a post-apocalyptic earth and everything. So it is um, a, a, a very nice game. Don't think that just by these screenshots that it's all just dark and dank and things like that because it really is 
um, a fantastic game, and like they said, it wasn't a viral hit for nothing. Bug Fables, The Everlasting Sapling. If you like the original Paper Mario and not what they and not what they did to the series, you'll like this game. It's pretty cute. Comes with a hard mode metal up front and good music. Very nice. Let's check this one out. This one's 35% off, so it's only $12.99. Oh, I really like this kind of cel-shaded graphical style right here. This is really cute. It reminds me immediately of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. And again, like like Big Value said in his comment, it reminds me a lot of, um, of Paper Mario as well. So yeah, it looks like you're collecting medals, like you collect badges and those games. It's a side-scrolling, um, side-scrolling exploration, turn-based combat right there. So this is cute. Yeah, Bug Fables would be something that wouldn't actually be on my radar, but looking at this, I think I'll add that to my wish list as well. That's really adorable. Okay, let's move on. Um, Reketeer, an item shop's tale. It says, very unique game. You level up a shop, and it's focused on bartering with customers and selling items high and low. Okay. I was thinking that this game was more about crafting, but apparently it's not. This is, um, oh, does it not have a video? It looks like it's only various pictures right here. But this is kind of like a dungeon crawling game, and you play as a merchant, and then you go inside of a dungeon, and you try to find various items inside the dungeons, and then um, sell them high while purchasing them low. Unfortunately, again, it doesn't have a video right here. This is, has a very positive reviews. My Discord channel seems to like it. 80% off, so it's only $3.99 right now. So be sure to check that one out if that sounds good to you. Then we have Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Capcom's open-world, western-style RPG filled with dragons, hydras, chimeras, evil eyes, and other iconic western monsters. Let's check this one out. Oh, we have to put an um. That's fine. Nin uh, yeah, sure. I was born in 1906. Whatever, Steam. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> this one is 70% off, so it's $8.99. I remember when this first came out. I believe it was on the PlayStation 3, and um, everybody went on about it, how great it was. It looks very MMO style to me. Uh, it looks very nice. It's kind of like Western meets Eastern. Um, JRPG goodness with action-based combat looks very nice. And for that price, you really cannot go wrong. We'll add that to my wish list as well now that I remember to actually do that. Over here we have .hack GU Last Recode. I purchased this on the PlayStation 4 not that long ago, actually, but now I kind of wish that I bought it here because it's 85% off for only $7.49. And this includes all three original .hack GU titles, Rebirth, Remiscence, and Redemption, all fully restored and remastered, as well as an all-new fourth volume, Reconnection. So if you're a fan of the .hack games or GU, um, be sure to check this one out. It's kind of like a JRPG takes place in, in like an MMO-type world. Um, so it is very interesting, very unique, and again, you get four games for $7.50, like, can you really go wrong here? Like, seriously, I mean, that's a no-brainer right there. Be sure to pick that one up. I Am Setsuna. It says, Chrono Trigger-inspired modern-day turn-based RPG with great music has unique 3D visual style. I actually let's played I Am Setsuna quite some time ago on my channel. And um, I personally enjoyed it. Um, I had a good time with it. It is very Chrono Trigger inspired, um, but a lot of it can get a little bit redundant simply because every place looks samey because it takes place in a very snow covered world. However, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It is great. If you're a fan of SNES RPGs, PlayStation RPGs, this kind of visual style, um, turn-based combat that actually uses positioning and stuff like that, then yeah, pick this game up. 
Um, highly, highly recommended. How much is this? 50% off for $7.49. Octopath Traveler. A lot of people don't realize that Octopath Traveler is actually available on Steam. People think that it's only on Switch, but no, it's on Steam. A love letter to the 16-bit style JRPGs from the Super Nintendo. Eight different stories from eight different characters with a ton of customization and a job system. Yeah, this is um, a lot of fun. The combat can be a little bit stifled, I guess. Um, it can take a little bit of time to get used to, but it is a great game, a great throwback to, to um, SNES games of yore. Um, I would love to see I would love to see some remastered like Final Fantasy VI remastered in Octopath Traveler style like that would just be great to me that would just be fantastic right now this is 50% off so it is $29.99 if you do not have a Switch or was unable to find it on the Switch make sure that you purchase it now on Steam because it is well worth it you will get your money's worth out of that then we have the Alliance Alive HD. I purchased the Alliance Alive on the 3DS, and I actually put it in as the number one best game on the 3DS. And then I also reviewed it whenever it came out, whenever this HD edition came out for the PlayStation 4. I made a review of it on my channel as well. That's how much I love the Alliance Alive. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like Final Fantasy meets Saga where it has the saga kind of leveling system, but it's not that complex and um, has a has many different worlds to explore. It reminds me of Final Fantasy Legend 2, where you go from like a rainy world to a fire world to an ice world to a jungle world, you know? So there's a lot of different things going on. I even have my little Alliance Alive 3DS game right here um, because I just love this one so much. It does say that it requires a controller in order to play, and playing with a keyboard and mouth, mouse is not supported. It is 50% off for $19.99 um, right now. So now would be a great time to pick this one up. And then... <laughs> looks like it looks like there's a Joker um, on my Discord channel who put Final Fantasy VIII Remastered in here. It says, From Geoff. A game David truly appreciates. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why did you put this game in here? $9.99 is $9.99 too much to pay for this train wreck of a game. But anyway, I hope that this really helps you guys figure out what games you um, might want to look at and see on on Steam. There are a lot of games out there to look through, but now that we're having the golden sale, now that these JRPGs are on sale, it is a great time to really just go through and scour and see what you can't find. So look at these recommendations, see what you guys like, join the Discord, and then maybe you can um, also give your own recommendations there as well. Let me know in the comments what games you picked up, what you think are great hidden gems to find on Steam, and have a good day.